John, who's our chief scientist, he looked at how current solar panels are being made and he thought, it's expensive, it's energy intensive, it's time consuming. Why can't we use the processes that we make food packaging with to make solar panels? And John came up with this concept of what we call the micro grooves, which is the underlying engine behind our solar film. So in here, there are 8,000 individual solar cells that are smaller than human hair. Basically, instead of taking a piece of glass, which is how most silicon panels are used, and creating a sandwich of materials, what we do is we take a piece of low-cost plastic and we create these patterns of microstructures into the plastic. And genuinely, no one in the world has done this before. We're now at a point where we know the technology works and our next step is to scale it. So building the pilot plant, which will produce something like 25 to 50,000 meters of our solar film per year, which can go out into the marketplace and be tested. What our film can do is to open up markets that are massively underserved, non-load bearing roof surfaces. So lots of buildings, for example, industrial sheds. If you go out into India, into Southeast Asia and Africa, a lot of the structures can't bear the weight of current silicon panels because they are very heavy. They're something like um, 10 kilograms per meter squared. But then if you take it to other markets, you're looking at off-grid applications because our film is incredibly easy to transport, incredibly easy to install. So you're looking at smart irrigation, water pumping, off-grid villages. So it really does open up massive underserved markets that currently is, is not able to be addressed by the, the current technology. So it is genuinely exciting and it's almost endless what the, what the film can be deployed on.